Hi, it's Glenda, and today I'm making a Christmas soap. It's gonna be like a Christmas stockings over the fireplace type of soap. I mean, you saw the thumbnail, so that should give you an idea. Uh, I'm going to be using activated charcoal as the colorant. So this is the mold that I'm gonna use, the 10 inch silicone love mold. And I have these dividers. So I'm going to put two dividers on the edges and this is where the fire embed is gonna go just here for fragrance I'm using fireside from make your own this is a smoky type of fragrance it is supposed to have marshmallow notes however those tend to get drowned out by the smoky scent or notes because of that, I decided to blend it with um, pumpkin and brown sugar fragrance, which smells mostly like brown sugar. And I thought the sweetness was going to overcome or balance out the smokiness. And it did initially, but eventually um, the bar became more of the fireside scent. Now to make the soap, I measured the light water and the oils and as I believe most people who watch this already know how to make soap, I'm going to fast forward through this part and then go straight to the port. As I mentioned before, I have a fire embed that's going to go at the bottom and I made that with soap dough and I have placed it in the mold in between the two dividers and I'm going to pour the black portion of the soap into it first. I did have some leak at the bottom so now I'm trying to hold on to the dividers as I add the uncolored soap batter. Uh, my soap batter will probably discolored because it has vanillin in it and I didn't add any extra colorant to it. In hindsight, once I was done pouring the black soap, I should have removed the dividers. And you will see at the very end why I said that. But in here, I didn't know that yet. And so I kept the dividers and then I just added the uncolored soap batter on top. And I did this very slowly, being careful that it wouldn't go down into the black. So instead that it will stay on top. And this was a bit tricky because this fragrance behaves really well and my salt butter was still fluid. When I was done, I pulled out the dividers and here you can see that there is some black that the dividers have dragged some of the black to the surface and this may give you a clue of the issue I had in the end. And lastly, I'm going to remove the frame for the dividers and just cover the top with all the remaining soap butter I have. A couple days later, I remove it from the mold and I cut this into bars so that I can complete the second part of the soap, which is adding the stockings on top. Some of the bars, especially the first ones, did not turn out that good. So in here you can see that when I lifted the divider, uh, the black was dragged upwards with the divider. And this is why in the future I'm going to remove the dividers as soon as I'm done with the black portion so that there is no marks like this. The first two didn't come out too good but the rest seemed more uniform. The next step is to do a stamp on them that simulates the brick of a fireplace. And I 3D printed one. It was kind of thick, so I had to press hard to make it work since my soap was also very solid. In the final bars, we won't see those black marks on the top initially because they will be covered with the stockings. The fragrance causes a grainy texture on the soap, so I did have to plane them before doing the stem to get a smooth finish. To add the stockings to the front of the soap, 
I use a pointy tool to scratch out some of the soap from the surface in the place where it's supposed to go. Uh, then I use some sticky soap dough and I fill that in. This is going to act like the glue and I added some distilled water on top and then I push the embed in. I had made these embeds a few days before so they are firm. Now this is one way of doing it. Um, I found that I was short of a stockings so the next ones I made them on top of the soap. And um, here I'm trying to shape some green soap dough into like an L shape, you know, to simulate a stocking. And I added some water to moisten the surface of the soap. And then I simply just pushed the freshly made stocking on it. Then I'm going to use some white just to do the detail on top. And then I repeated that with the one on the other side. 